Well, welcome to the San Diego Argonauts Sail Point Races for 2012. This is the Odom class, the one design, one meter class model sailboat. We're going to have three races here today. We have uh, three races each month here at the pond on Mission Bay and keep track throughout the year and at the end of the year we name a uh, club champion for the fleet. So this is the first series of races, the first three races for the year. The wind is out of the west at about uh, oh, four to six knots. It's a little shifty. Um, the westerly wind makes that start line that you're looking down between the two blue marks, the two blue buoys, makes it a fair line. But the wind has shifted to the southwest on occasion, which would favor the far end of the line. And I am uh, wearing a miniature camera on top of my hat, so wherever my head is turned is the picture that you're going to see. I'm sailing a red boat with a little bit of a red stripe on the jib. I said red boat, it's actually yellow. Took some paint off it. I'm right at the pin end right now. About five seconds until the start. Okay, there's the ding. Wind's a little light. As soon as the gun went off, I, I did have reasonable speed. As soon as the gun went off, I tacked over to port. Is that a firecracker? Because that shift had come in from that south side. And we're off. And you can see, if you just take a look there, I'm in pretty good shape. That's, again, my boat with the red stripe on the jib. Not a lot of wind. Uh, again, four, six knots, something like that. Uh, my looking down, that was my running, in, uh, running into the dinghy that's along the edge of the uh, pond. You see 43 next to me starting to get a little bit of good air. But the rest of the boats are pretty well behind us, so I got off to a pretty good start. My objectives, my objectives are to get uh, good starts, All clean right. air, I will give you more fair right into the line. I was able to accomplish that goal here, so I'm working out okay. And we're working up to a weather mark, which is off to the right off the screen right now. So I look in pretty good position. Heading up the pond on starboard. There's some nice wind. See the boat heel over pretty well. I've got the sails probably at this point. I probably have the sails in almost all the way. When that wind gets light, I like cracking my sails a little bit to keep things moving. But the very high aspect ratio keel uh, and bulb on the uh, Odom allows it to uh, allows it to sail pretty well. Okay, we're getting into a little bit of shallow water here. I'm walking along the edge of the shore so you can see the boat's not too far away from me and of course the Odom has a fairly deep keel. So I'm just trying to play the shifts up. My eyes are glued onto those telltales on the jib. Here I'm tacking out, I'd call for sea room. Not a lot of air. It was not a great tack on my part. I probably brought it around a little fast and went a little, I uh, over tacked it a touch. Probably trying to work out right now, work out to the left just going? a little bit. When this lift goes away, I'm looking. I'm looking for some wind. I've got a little bit of air. I also got a lift on on a starboard tack right there. You can see how much higher I'm sailing now than I was before. There's the weather mark. Um, I'm coming into the mark on port. I tacked over, which certainly has got uh, issues with it. You got to be careful about doing that. Either tacking close to the weather mark or coming in on port. Even one of those can be uh, uh, risky maneuvers. But uh, fortunately, I had enough room, I thought, to do that without uh, encountering any other boats or any other traffic. So let's see, where am I at? I'm just going around that offset mark right now. So I'm in third place. Pretty good. Ahead of the pack. Back a little bit from the leaders. And you can see a boat that's kind of in the middle of the pond hitting down there. I think, he's, I think he didn't go around the uh, offset mark, so people are going to be talking to him and heading out. Uh, we're reaching on right now on a broad reach just working down the pond uh, headed down to uh, the leeward end gate. So um, it, my objective in doing these videos is to take a look at what was happening in the races, maybe see some things I didn't see at the time. And <laughs> and share that with, uh, with you folks watching the videos as well. So um, I think at this point we'll break off from race number one and we'll head over and catch the start of race number two. I'm trying to go up.
Okay, so here's race number two. That's about the same wind. Sh out of the west, four, six knots, shifting around a little bit from the west, from the southwest. Line's a reasonably fair line. Again, my strategy, get a good start with clear air. That's about 20 seconds, I think, until the start. So I'm the yellow hold boat, red stripe, on the right-hand side, right middle side of the screen. Everybody's moving around to come in for the start. I wanted to get down below the weather mark, or excuse me, the start line, but there wasn't room to do that, so I decided to drive with speed over the top of those boats and found a hole that I could duck into. I did okay. I was on the correct side of the course when the bell went off. I ducked down. I did have reasonably good speed. And as soon as the bell went off, I tacked onto port. And now I'm looking for that lift to come in a little bit from the south side to the southwest. So this is a, a little similar to what we had in the first race. There I've got some reasonably good wind. Boat's healing over a little bit. I'm trying to work it up a little bit to the left. I'd like to I'd like to work up to the left side of the or the far side of the pond here because I know I'm going to get headed at some point as the uh, wind moves back more to the west. Just trying to keep the boat moving. I'm looking at the telltales. I probably have the sails cracked just a touch because this air is a little bit light, but we've got some there's some wake streaming off the back of the boat, so I I know I'm I'm moving fairly well. There I've gotten headed a little bit. So I'm sailing down more. Uh, I'm walking along the edge of the pond, so you know, I'm going gonna, gonna to get into some shallow water here. That keel, of course, is fairly deep on the Odom, so you have to be careful about putting that on the beach. I'm just trying to play it up as best I can. I don't want to bail out of this lift unless I have to. Now, I decided it was time to go. Got a nice puff here on starboard. That's a, that's a nice nice puff not a, not much of a lift but at least I've got some pretty good wind and I've got good boat speed to go along with that so I'm working out to the left a little bit I'm gonna get my air clear and then I think I'll tack back to uh, the port excuse me back on to yes on, uh, tack back on the port so I'm trying to get past one more boat and I'm moving pretty good I'm pretty happy about the speed so I'm hoping that winds gonna hold we're coming up to the weather mark right here I'm coming in on port and that's that's gonna be an issue anytime you're coming into a mark on port so you have to be careful about that I had good speed and I had good air so I was able to duck in there clear of any of the other boats not not have any issues and I was able to do that because that wind did fill from the southwest which it had been tending to do so I've got uh, pretty good jump on the pack of the boats now going around the weather mark we're headed to the offset mark I'm in second place out there so um, I had a good start that wind had shifted to the southwest so when I hardened up on starboard tack at the start I could see that I was very uh, very low I tacked the boat over had that nice lift on port then and I've got some good air and I accelerated out so uh, some of that was being fortunate some of it some of that was some of that I could call it luck but some of that was just being uh, able to see that wind when it came over to tack to take advantage of it so I think with that, we're going to break off from race number two, and uh, we'll catch the uh, start in the weather leg of race number three. And if I hadn't mentioned it before, my philosophy is get a good clean start with clear air, be at speed, try to sail on the lifts, get into the weather mark. In this case, you're just trying to, you're trying to stay in some good wind. Uh, certainly, staying on the lifts is good, but uh, finding the wind turned out to be a, a good challenge in the races today. And uh, if you do that, and you wind up in good shape with the weather mark, I think the rest of the race pretty much takes care of itself. So I try to, try to focus on the start in the first weather leg. So let's break off here. We're going to go take, take on race number three. Okay, here we are. This is our third and last race for today with the Odom. Winds up just a little bit, six knots, but there's still some holes out there. Wind still primarily from the west, but we've got some shifts coming over from the southwest. I think about 20 seconds until the start. I'm the yellow boat hitting right toward the camera right now. There we are. I just jibed over onto starboard. I'm looking for my position. 
uh, I'm okay toward the pin end. Uh, I would go as far as trying to be in the middle, the middle of the line because of that port tack lift that comes in. There, the bell has gone off. Everybody is pretty much hardened up, and there it looks like they're staying on starboard. I can just see the red stripe on my jib, and that is why that stripe is there, so I can pick my boat out. So I'm staying on starboard. Now I've just tacked off to port. So I do have clear air. All boats clear. I'm in pretty good shape right now. I'm just trying to hope that that starboard, excuse me, the port tack lift that went from the southwest stays in. Again, I want to make sure that my sails are trimmed properly. So I've, I, that's why we go practice during the week is to make sure we know how to set our sails for the different wind conditions. The wind's a little bit light here, starting to fill in a little bit more. We're kind of working right up the pond on port tack. Have to be careful about the starboard tackers that are going to be coming out eventually. Here comes one right now. But I've got some nice air. I've got a good good lift going. I, I'm uh, able to cross in front of them so that part works out okay. Looks like the wind's gotten a little light. My boat's kind of standing up. I decided it was time to tack out on starboard and try to get to the left a little bit. I thought the puffs did come from the southwest, so whenever I could, I was trying to work uh, to the left-hand side. Not my usual. I usually try to stay to the right-hand side because I like approaching that weather mark on starboard. But uh, when the wind's like this, um, I wind up just uh, just playing whatever, whatever the uh, however the cards get dealt. If the wind wants to fill in from the left, then I'm going to go over to the left and try to try to catch those lifts. But of course, we do need to be careful. I do need to be careful about trying to go into the mark on port because of uh, obviously the port starboard right away issues. So we're probably coming up, getting pretty close to the weather mark up here. Looks like I've got some nice air again. Got it light there for a minute. That's probably the weather mark just coming into view on the screen right now. I've got a leeward boat down below me. I need to be careful and stay clear of him, of course. And I've got a starboard tacker. I decide that I'm far enough along I can make it. So I tack uh, on the lay line on starboard. And it looks like that uh, the wind held pretty well, and I'm around the weather mark in uh, third place. So that's okay. We've got 18 boats in the race today, so that was a pretty good turnout for us. Hope that'll hold up throughout the year. So as, of course, we start reaching, uh, wind feels a little bit lighter, and we're going to turn around this offset mark and start heading downwind, and the wind's going to get even even lighter so this gets a little painful as we uh, as we work downwind um, oh, this is where having a boat that's uh, right at minimum weight in these lighter wind conditions I think is uh, pretty important and having sails that uh, that work well in in lighter airs that they'll take their shape and in my case I'm, I'm using CPM 505 material which is kind of a paper like material it's fairly light I find it pretty responsive. I'm pretty new to Odom sailing, but it, uh, but I like these sails, so that's what I'm using right now. They work out pretty well for me. Okay, so I'm on the far side of the pond. You can barely see me, but I'm reaching down. I've got reasonably good speed, and I'm pr in pretty good shape on the 18-boat fleet, so I'm pretty happy with that. So that's kind of a walkthrough of our races for today. Again, my mantra is get a good start, have clear air, sail on the lifts, try to sail on the lifts. In this case, like today, you just want to be able to, to stay in some good air, get to the weather mark in reasonably good shape, and then I think the rest of the race takes care of itself. So that's kind of the walkthrough for the races today, and uh, we'll have next race uh, in February next month, and uh, hope you'll join, come back again, and uh, we'll give you a walkthrough of what's happening there. So enjoy, take care, hope to see you next month. My shins!